Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to today's episode of Theme Park News. And in today's episode, Disney World tickets, if you buy a four-day pass, have gone on sale. Seven people have been injured at an incident that took place at a German theme park. And shots were fired at another theme park in New Jersey. All of those stories are in today's episode of Theme Park News. Hey everybody, welcome to today's episode. I've got three news stories here. I know I've been off for a couple days, haven't posted anything. Uh, I work at a college, I do IT at a college, and this is the first week of school, so I've been really busy. So unfortunately, was not able to do any recordings, but I'm back now, and we've got three theme park news stories to go over, so let's go ahead and get right on into it. All right, our first news story comes from Disney World, and that is that tickets are going on sale if if you buy a four day pass. Uh, right now, you can get a four uh, park magic ticket, what they're calling a magic ticket, uh, and it costs $99 per day. Now, I believe you can only go to one park per day, um, and each day will be $99. So obviously for four days, it's basically $400, but it's only $99 per day, which has a little bit of a discount. I believe the cheapest days you can get uh, single day tickets at Disney World is $109, 10910 So you're, if you go, if you, you know, somebody who's going for a vacation for like a week and you want to visit the park four times, you're, I mean, that's at least $40 off per person that's going. So that's a pretty good deal, especially, you know, how expensive it is to go to Disney World these days. Um, so yeah, four day, I'm sorry, yeah, four park magic ticket, $99 per day. So you, you go for four days. Uh, you can use it at any of the theme parks. Um, I don't think it, it works at the water parks. But the four major, you know, theme parks you can use it at. Um, the kind of catch is that after you've used the first day, you have to use the other three days within a week period, within a seven day period. So you can't go one day, especially if you're this is probably more if you're a local. You can't go one day and then, you know, wait two weeks and then go again. It's not going to work like that. You have to use them within once you hit that first day. You then have seven days to use the other three days on that one. And these tickets are going to be available through September 22nd. Um, if you don't use it, I believe it was before the 27th. That's when that week starts. Um, so you can't save it up for like Christmas time, anything like that. Uh, not going to work out that way. Um, but like I said, yeah, four park magic ticket will be at $99 per day. Uh, if you're looking to come down, like I said, for about a week or so, and you're going to visit, especially if you want to visit each one of the theme parks, um, that would be kind of a good, uh, a good little savings for you. All right. And coming out of Germany, there was an incident at a park where I had some people get injured. This happened at the Europa Park. Uh, which I believe is the second biggest park in Germany, theme park. Um, what had happened was seven people got injured. Three of them were taken to the hospital, they said, for observation. So I don't think it was anything super serious. Uh, but they have a, a show they do in one of the uh, mobile pools that was used in the show. The show, I'm going to pronounce this wrong because that's just what I do. Uh, looks like uh, Retorno dos Pirate. Piratas, um, so I'm assuming it's some kind of pirate show. Um, the, they had a mobile pool that they use in that. Uh, it's, a I guess, a diving show, and the pool ruptured, uh, so the water kind of flew out there. Five of the performers were injured, and then two guests uh, were injured, so I guess there was a huge kind of you know, rush of water. Apparently, they have a log flume ride that's right next to that. Some of the water rushed over to the flume ride. Um, so, yeah, five or seven people total were hurt. Three of them were taken to the hospital for observation. So it doesn't sound like it's anything major. Obviously, no, nobody died or anything like that. It just seems like it was kind of some minor uh, type of injuries, possibly head injuries if they wanted, you know, have them there for observation. It would make sense that maybe they're where they had a concussion or something like that. Um, but yeah, that happened, like I said, at the Europa Park, which also happened to have a, a fire that took place uh, back in June. That uh, was the same park for that one that uh, damaged some of the rides there as well. So not, not a good year so far for Europa Park. Uh, but it looks like probably all of those people are going to be fine after that uh, incident on the diving show. All right, and in even more serious news, the seriousness of the story just gets worse as we go along. Uh, more serious news is the uh, fight broke out at a theme park. And this happened in the parking lot and then shots were fired. This takes place at the Clementon Park and Splash World, which is in New Jersey. I'm I, I, not going to lie, I had never heard of this park before, um, but it's called the Clementon Park and Splash World. 
Apparently a fight, people were leaving the park in the evening time, fight broke out in the parking lot. Somebody decided to pull a gun out, start shooting in the air, probably to scare the other people away. Um, so police ended up coming. They broke up the fight. It said it was multiple people involved in the fight. Uh, somebody was arrested, a 24-year-old, I'm probably going to pronounce his name wrong, uh, Kwaki Eaton Kennedy uh, was the one that was arrested. Uh, and he was charged with second degree possession of a weapon. It didn't say if he was the one that shot in the air. I, I mean, so I, I, but he's, he had a weapon on him. Uh, could have been someone else. Not sure. But yeah, somebody did fire in the air. Just a couple shots, which is never good. Cause I mean, if you shoot bullets up in the air, they do come down. So, and if you're in that huge, you know, parking lot, a huge crowded area, there's a good chance those are coming down on somebody. So you have to always be careful with that one. Definitely not a cool thing to have happen. Uh, like I said, it kind of sounds like a fight broke out. Somebody pulled the gun, to, you know, shot in the air and, you know, kind of scare everybody else away. But it uh, didn't work out well for at least one person. He was arrested. Um, like I said, that was uh, at the Clementon Park and Splash World. But it didn't say that anybody was injured. Uh, nothing like that. So at least that part ends out well for it. All right, guys, that is going to do it for another episode of Theme Park News. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about today's news stories. And if you aren't already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I post these theme park news episodes usually every other day. And if it's not the first week of school, that is uh, on top of doing cruise news on the opposite days and vlogging all of our adventures. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button and leave me, like I said, a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about today's news stories. And as always, everybody, thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video.